break that um, today I will be presenting to you the, um, you know, the, the paper, the case for integrating and leveraging knowledge management and e-learning for effective online education. Uh, as, as you can see here, my team is are Dr. Charles Crane, Dr. Aris Billy, Dr. Nagamani Pala, and Dr. Kiran Pala, and then we are representing Cambridge University from Campus in Kentucky in the United States. Um, so the learning objective that we will cover today is going to be the introduction, the literature review, statistics, which will include the methods, study population, measures, and statistical analysis that were undertaken for this article. We'll also cover the results and the conclusion to finish the paper. As for the introduction for, for this act, article, we have to define knowledge management and e-learning, so everybody is aware of what they mean. Um, in knowledge management, knowledge is defined as meaningful information. Knowledge management is the process of creating, validating, presenting, distributing, and applying that meaningful information. On the other hand, another way to define knowledge management is that the discipline seeks to create or locate knowledge and manage its flow within an organization so that it is used effectively and efficiently. E-learning or how we know e-learning as online learning. Um, in contrast to traditional classroom-based education models, e-learning is relatively new, a new approach in which instruction is delivered via all electronic media, including the internet, intranet, extranet, satellite broadcast, audio, videotape, interactive TV, and CD room. E-learning is meant to improve the quality of learning by facilitating access to resources and services, as well as remote exchanges and collaboration. As for the purpose of this study, in recent years, the rapid and continuous advancement of technology has transformed the world into a knowledge society. A knowledge management and e-learning strategy will ensure that all the students have sufficient skills needed in a rapidly developing information society which will promote open and lifelong learning. This paper sought to understand the perception of college students on the case for integrating and leveraging knowledge management and e-learning for effective online education. We also tie in the COVID-19 pandemic changes that has deemed it necessary to use e-learning for educational purposes. So in our literature review, we cover the following topics, knowledge management, e-learning or online learning, knowledge management implications for e-learning, how knowledge management enhances e-learning and the application of e-learning. First, knowledge management concerns the role and purpose of knowledge within an organization. Whole. Knowledge management can support individual learners in making connections with their instructor, bringing together knowledge seekers and knowledge sources in such a way that they can interact with one another and more effectively share tacit knowledge. Then we have e-learning which is meant to improve the quality of learning by facil facilitating access to resources and services, as well as exchanges and collaboration. The shift in instructional content from classroom to electronic media means that instructional times can be asynchronous, allowing students to decide when and how much time is spent on learning. When discussing knowledge management implications for e-learning, one can see that knowledge management share, knowledge management shares the same fundamental goal of facilitating organizational learning, while e-learning focuses on the individual learner's acquisition of knowledge. When discussing how knowledge management enhances e-learning, the integration of knowledge management with e-learning programs has the potential to increase learning efficiency and reduce time in preparing instructional materials for the teacher. Moreover, when discussing application of e-learning, in a knowledge economy, learning and e-learning are, are of a strategic significance for organizations, providing the ability to add value to products and services through knowledge. The development of core competencies is a crucial objective here and requires the firms acquire, create, disseminate, and apply knowledge to improve and innovate processes, products, and services. It is important also to cover the COVID-19 pandemic um, some of the main articles discussing the COVID-19 pandemic and its effect on higher education 
are, are included. So, in summary, in these articles, the authors noted that COVID 19 pandemic has had a catalytic effect on the changes in educational processes. Or, why? By causing an abrupt shift from face to face to online classes with limited time to plan and prepare course material. The prevailing culture historically favored face to face learning with web based instructions as only a, a support. The pandemic forces expanded use of online instruction and significant adjustments by educators and students. The researchers found that students were generally favorable of about online learning, but noted that the need to improve student access to hardware devices like cell phones, laptops, desktops, internet access, and more effective lectures consistent with the platform was needed. Now we will discuss uh, our statistics presenting in this paper. For our methods, data were collected from 50 online students using a questionnaire of whether there was a case for integrating and leveraging knowledge management and e-learning for effective online education. As we can see in table two, 44% of participants were female, 50% of participants were males, and 2% of the participants didn't, pro didn't provide an entry on their gender. In table three, 72% of participants were between the ages of 18 and 30, 20% of participants were between the ages of 31 and 35, and 4% of participants were older than 25 years of age. You can see in this slide, we also represented our age and gender frequencies in tables. You can see here age and you can see here gender. For our study population, data were collected from students in an online university who had completed in-person classes at Campus University, Kentucky, in the United States. We performed convenient sampling by recruiting participants at a weekend face-to-face re uh, -face residence. The participants voluntarily provided informed consent of the study. The students were instructed to return the questionnaire to the professor after completing the survey. The duration for the survey was approximately 10 minutes. The appropriate sample size required for regression analysis was computed, was computed using the GPower 3192 software. For an effect size of 0.02, significant value of 0.05, and a statistical power of 0.80, the minimum required sample size was 50 students. And we distributed the questionnaire to 50 students with the hope of no potential withdrawal. A total of 50 questionnaires were retrieved, and after excluding two questionnaires for not having incomplete for having incomplete responses, a total of 48 were included in the final analysis. In this slide, we can see table for ANOVA, which represents a one-way ANOVA a statistical analysis that was employed for this study. The results are explained in the following slide. For the general characteristics of this study, we collected information about participant sex and age with sex characterized as male and female, and age with the ranges of 18 to 30, 35 to 35, and 36 and older. For the statistical analysis of this study, we investigated the factor for the case for integrating and leveraging knowledge management and e-learning for effective online education. We first examined control variables among the participants. Differences in perception of general characteristics like, like sex and age were analyzed using one way and all. As for the results of this study, perceptions of students for integration, for the integration and leverage of knowledge management and e-learning for effective online education had a value of 0 0.335, showing that the correlation was no statistically significant on the student's perception of learning in the 21st century. A student's perception is weak on where it is important to integrate and leverage knowledge management and e-learning for effective online education. In conclusion, the coronavirus pandemic appears to have transformed the world of education and professor choice of remote working software for creating a virtual classroom has a direct impact on their success as an educator at this time. Video conference software has taken over not only classroom instruction, but also education administration, parent-teacher conferences, and staff and school board meetings. 
video conferencing software such as Zoom and Teams are attempting to replicate the traditional classroom as closely as possible. This means that professors who use video conferencing software must create a collaborative environment in which students can interact naturally with one another and with the teacher. In today's knowledge-based economy, organizations must be able to effectively identify, adapt, and direct their use of knowledge. Likewise, individuals must be able to access meaningful information outside of the limitations of the traditional classroom-based environment. Within organizations, e-learning is a promising tool for distributing training material, but such information must be communicated effectively and aligned with an organization's larger purposes and competitive goals. Knowledge management ensures that e-learning achieves this function within the context of a larger organization. Um, this, this slide represents the references that were used for, for this study. This concludes my presentation of our findings from our study. And I want to thank you, th thank each of you for allowing me to represent, to present and for your support. At uh, this time, I open up for questions. These are contact information and then, yes, thank you. Mm -hmm.